Okay, so no joke, no joke. It's 4.05 p.m. Wednesday, February 24th. Isn't today Steve Jobs' birthday? I'm pretty sure it is. And just now at 4.04 p.m., I officially received the email from Twitch stating the following. Hello, David DeFranco. We have removed your account from the affiliation program. You will be sent your due payout in compliance, blah, blah, blah. That timing could not have been more perfect. Roll the intro. What is up everybody? How you doing today? My name is David Franco and I am no longer a Twitch affiliate. It's kind of concerning, but more exciting than concerning because I've, I've been a Twitch affiliate for over three years now and I've been very successful as a Twitch affiliate, which I'm very, very thankful for. And well, guys, obviously I couldn't have done it without you, so thank you so much for your support. But uh, anyway, today on Instagram, I reached out to you guys over at instagram.com slash David Franco on my Instagram story, and I asked you the following. What's up, everybody? I hope you're enjoying your Wednesday. I have a lot of changes coming up. As you may know, I'm leaving Twitch in the very near future and moving on to YouTube, which means I'll be turning on that join button. So if you have any questions regarding that, let me know. And now with that said, I have nine questions from you guys to get there. So thank you so much for participating. I appreciate it. And please, if you're not following me on Instagram already, do it right below, baby. Do it right below. It's free. Instagram.com slash David Franco. Okay, so let's start this out, guys. I am making a huge transition and kind of a huge risk at the same time. Completely quitting Twitch, at least as an affiliate. And yes, my Twitch channel is still there. God forbid if this whole YouTube thing doesn't work out in like the next two or three years, I can always go back to Twitch. So yeah, I mean, it's always good to be in multiple places. But with that said, I, I don't really have any doubts with this. But yeah, anyway, because this transition is so significant for me, it's also significant for you as a viewer because I've had people asking a ton of questions. Why are you leaving Twitch? What benefits does YouTube have over Twitch? And of course, this being YouTube, this being the internet, I've had a couple of people assume that I'm double dipping. I, guys, I cannot make this clear enough. I have completely shut off financial support on Twitch. You can't subscribe anymore. You can't send bits. You can send donations, but you can send donations off stream anywhere, you know, like PayPal, whatever. But yeah, that's just my point. I'm quite literally burning that uh, Twitch financial bridge and I'm not looking back. It's YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. So I am in no way double dipping. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to you guys. All right. So with all that said, let's jump into today's nine questions. Princess Tanya forever. You're up first. Tanya says, what major changes do you expect to see other than view counts? Honestly, not all that much. I mean, I'm going to say it again. I was like, nothing's really going to change all that much going from Twitch to YouTube. The same viewers are gonna be there. I mean, if anything, we're gonna get more viewers like Tanya clearly stated, and I cannot wait for that. Seriously, guys, on a good night on YouTube, I would surpass 100 viewers. And on a good night on Twitch, I would get around 50, which is good, but my like average night on Twitch is 30 to 40 viewers, but my average night on YouTube is probably like 70 to 80, which I think is awesome. So I'm quite literally doubling my average view count every single time I'm streaming. But yeah, besides a higher view count, not really all much, not, that's excellent English, but not really all that much is gonna change, honestly. Like if you've been supporting me on Twitch with a monthly sub, uh, joining on YouTube is gonna be the same exact thing. Unfortunately, I don't think you're gonna get ad-free viewing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you need to go through YouTube Premium to do that, but hey, I mean, if you're not a YouTube Premium member yet, you are sorely missing out. I love YouTube Premium. Going from video to video and not getting ads is a beautiful thing. And no, I'm not a supporter of ad block. Never have been, never will be. But um, yeah, it's gonna be the same me. The gameplay is gonna be a lot of fun, a lot of bad jokes, a lot of explicitness, if you will, because I'm very explicit on my streams. Uh, I mean, I'm the same guy you see in the vlogs, but I'm a lot more open in my streams. Let's just say that. Tanya, I hope you're there. Thank you so much. Uh, Paul Gaska says, best wishes with the transition. When do you typically stream? Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Four days out of the week, yeah. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Typically around 10 p.m. Eastern 
on Mondays and Wednesdays. And then Fridays and Saturdays, I might start a little later, maybe like 11 p.m. Eastern, because on the weekends, for obvious reasons, I go later. Like seriously, on an average work night, Monday and Wednesday, I stream till about two, three in the morning, which is still pretty late. I mean, it's still very, very late for a work night. But Fridays and Saturdays, I stream into the morning, like what, like five or six, sometimes even seven o'clock in the morning, which is why my weekends are not really that productive, but they don't have to be, they're weekends, you know? That's why they're called the weekend. So there you go. Be there if you can, please, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Paul. Uh, CampWise05 asks, what goals do you have set for the migration between Twitch and YouTube for streaming? My top goal by far is to bring over my Twitch audience, integrate my existing YouTube audience, which by the way, let's let's face it, most of my Twitch audience is from YouTube anyway, so I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna make the transition just fine. But my ultimate transition is to just make it smooth. I just wanna be transparent with you guys. Um, I'm so, so excited to turn on that join button on my channel. And by the way, you don't only have to join to support the live streams. I mean, I've had people say, David, I can't support on Patreon. Um, are you gonna be turning on YouTube memberships? Yes, I will be. That's that's, that's the whole point of the transition. Um, and as of right now, I'm gonna have a 99 cents transition. I mean, goal, sorry, a 99 cent goal where you literally just like pay a dollar every month just to simply support my channel. And I believe you're gonna get the emoji and loyalty badge with the $1 a month, which is pretty cool. That's really, really cool. You didn't get that on Twitch at least with certain tiers. The $5 a month tier gets you pretty much everything you got on Twitch. You're gonna get the same perks. Um, you will get priority AMA when I do uh, live streams like this where I just literally sit down and talk to you guys, I answer your questions. So I am going to be giving members priority access to AMA streams. And finally, another goal of mine is to get people involved in my streams that never really watched my streams to begin with. A huge benefit of streaming on YouTube is when you're live, you show up with a little live symbol in the left sidebar. But the thing is, the average person doesn't go on YouTube to watch a live stream, correct? They go on YouTube to watch a video. I can't tell you how many times I've just gone on YouTube to check my subs or watch random videos or whatever, and I just happen to see, for instance, my friend Logan, shout out to Logan, or my friend Danny, shout out to Danny, or anyone. The doc is playing Valorant right now to my left. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't usually go on YouTube to watch live streams, but sometimes I end up watching live streams because that's huge. It is so easy to discover live streamers on YouTube, whereas with Twitch, it's just saturated upon, saturated with so many Twitch streamers with zero viewers, one viewer, two viewers. But on YouTube, discoverability is huge. So that's another huge goal of mine. I want more people to discover my live streams. Great question. Next question comes from Matt Maidment. Matt says, how much does it cost to support the uh, channel? Any YouTube premium perks? Well, I just, I just went over the tiers. Oh, and by the way, there is a $10 tier where um, every single video I upload, you will be linked to uh, any website of your choice, like Twitter, Instagram, your personal website, your job, whatever. Uh, so basically you'll be linked in all the future vlogs, all the future uh, tech reviews, as long as you're a $10 paying member. Yes, your link will be right below, which is huge. I mean, think about it. It only takes one click, one customer, to truly get the traction going uh, for whatever you're trying to promote or, or maybe you're simply just trying to grow your Twitter following or whatever, you know? That's the beauty of this membership program. I'm putting out content uh, to entertain you guys, but in return, I'm trying to get some members on board where I can help you guys promote whatever you want. So it's a win-win. Christopher Simpson says, why the complete separation? Why not do both? Excellent question. I get asked this all the time, all the time when I'm live on Twitch. And I've been meaning to make a video about this for the longest time, so here we go. First of all, yes, you can simultaneously stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. In theory, that sounds amazing, right? I mean, guys, you're reaching so many viewers on each platform. In theory, it sounds like the perfect deal. It sounds like you're hacking the system in a way. How do I put this kindly? It's probably not worth it. It's not. The only way it's worth it, the only way I recommend streaming on both YouTube and Twitch at the same time is if you have no audience whatsoever. Like if you're just getting started, then yeah, there is no harm to stream on both platforms at the same time. And over time, throughout a month, throughout two months, three months of streaming, 
you can look at your analytics and say, oh, I'm getting more viewers on YouTube. So let's start to focus on YouTube and drop Twitch or vice versa, Twitch might be better for you than YouTube is. But if you have an existing audience like mine, now stay away from services like Restream. I'm gonna say this um, in the best way possible. Just, just don't do it. Don't do it. You are quite literally fragmenting your audience. And plus, you have to think about it from your perspective as well as your viewers' perspective. If you're streaming on both Twitch and YouTube, that means you have to keep track of two different chat rooms. And yeah, they might be able to merge the chat rooms on Restream. That's great. But when you're splitting your audience, I just think that's a mistake. If you're looking to grow your brand on a platform, you need to focus on that one platform. Yes, it's good to spread yourself out. If you're creating videos on YouTube, then maybe you just wanna stream on Twitch. But if you're looking for higher viewer counts on your streams, then maybe you should just create videos on YouTube and stream on YouTube and just not worry about Twitch whatsoever. I mean, especially if you're just getting started out on Twitch. Getting started out is extremely difficult. I'll say it again, guys. Twitch is so, so saturated. Whereas with uh, YouTube, yeah, it's saturated, but in my opinion, it's easy to find streams by accident. That's huge. That's a huge benefit to have. James Miller says, how are you thinking of adapting the green screen to your streams? You thinking of doing it Dr. D style? Yes. My green screen is still in the box. Yes, I'm going to open it eventually. And yes, I'm going to use it eventually. But right now it's not a huge priority. My biggest priority besides transitioning from Twitch to YouTube is to completely, completely redo my gaming room. It's gonna be a lot of work. It's gonna be so, so much work. Hence why I'm taking like a week off of streaming. Um, and then once the room is done, then I'll hop on YouTube. But yes, at some point this year, I promise the green screen will be properly mounted on my ceiling, which I need my dad's help with, by the way. I can't, I can't do it by myself. And then I can easily pull it down from the um, ceiling when I need it and just retract it when I don't need it. Because I hate the idea of stepping over a green screen. Just, just thinking about it drives me crazy. Jboogie317 says, will there be any exclusive gaming content for supporters? As of right now, besides priority AMA access, exclusive emoji, exclusive loyalty badges, and exclusive posts in the community section on YouTube, not yet. Now, that actually is a lot that I just mentioned. But yeah, not yet, I'm still just getting started. I mean, I'm quite literally just bringing over everything from Twitch, putting it on YouTube. Unfortunately, again, I, I don't think it's gonna be ad-free unless you have YouTube Premium. Hopefully they introduce that at some point. Oh, and I think I'm gonna do discounted merchandise. I actually do sell merch. Like, I don't, I don't really talk about it, but I actually do have merchandise. I'll link it right below. I get a sale once every, what, like five months? I, I, I just don't promote it enough. Like, the um, average viewer of mine, I, I don't think they even know I have merch. So it's my own fault. I don't promote it enough. So I think with YouTube memberships, I can offer like a 10% discount, maybe even 15%, which I think would be pretty cool. So yeah, right now I'm gonna start out slow and obviously I'll introduce more perks over time. Think like Patreon guys, like Patreon started out small, but over time I rolled out so much exclusive content and it's still going strong. Excellent question. Chris the Battleborn, should I cancel my Twitch sub? Absolutely. Actually, it probably just got canceled because, well, as I showed in the beginning of the video, my Twitch affiliation is officially behind me. It's donezo, it's canceled. So in theory, it was canceled automatically. But if for some reason it was not canceled, please cancel it immediately. I don't want your money. It's crazy to say out loud. Yeah, I don't want your money. So, boom. And the final question is not even a question, but I included this for a reason. Dean Edward, 19742019. I'm guessing you were born in 1974 and you made this account in 2019. That's my guess. Dean says, I'm a patron now, XX. Dean, thank you very much. First of all, I appreciate it. I appreciate all of my patrons. You guys are amazing. You have quite literally been a life changer. And like I said, I included that for a reason. It's not a question but I wanna make this clear. Patreon is not changing, okay? Patreon is not changing. My exclusive vlogs are staying on Patreon. YouTube memberships have nothing to do with my exclusive vlogs. Unfortunately, YouTube does not have Patreon integration or the other way around. But with that said, with that said, 
I'm hoping they introduce that one day. And if they do, you guys have my word. I guarantee you, I will give the exclusive vlogs access to my YouTube members. But as of right now, unfortunately, I can't, I can't. Um, yeah, so I'll say this for like a third or fourth time. YouTube memberships are kind of just like my Twitch subscriptions. If you've been subscribed on Twitch, then hopefully you'll come over to YouTube, you know, and you'll get the same perks. Minus some perks and adding some perks over time because, well, it's new. This is gonna be a huge transition for me, guys, and I'm so, so excited to finally turn on that join button. And by the way, um, this, this join button, yeah, it's mostly focused around my live streams, but if you wanna join and just support my channel, just to support me, then yeah. You can do that. That's great. Thank you so much. I'm like, I mean, I, I don't, I don't expect everybody to watch my live streams. I'm not going to force you. Yeah, that's another good point. This is not going to change my regular YouTube content. Weekend vlogs are not going anywhere. AMA videos are not going anywhere. Um, tech reviews, tech unboxings. I'm, so, I'm still going to be doing all that stuff. Like, nothing is changing on the free um, content. You know, nothing is changing whatsoever. Uh, so I just want to make that clear because any time a creator on YouTube talks about making money, people tend to lose their shit. <laughs> Seriously, they do. Uh, but nothing's changing. I'm very, very smart with how I put up my content. I'm very smart with how I set up my financial support options and all that stuff. So if you wanna join and support me, thank you so much. And if you don't wanna join and support me, hey, that's perfectly fine too. You guys can do whatever you want. And guys, that's the great thing about YouTube. It's called YouTube. This is your platform. This is my platform. This is our platform. And guys, I cannot be more excited to explore what's to come. Thank you so much for your support, I appreciate it. And if you have any questions about the YouTube membership program, please do not hesitate to ask those questions right below. I'm here to help, I'm here to be transparent. Um, and well, thank you so much. I hope you guys are enjoying your day and I'll talk to you later. Peace.